Ready? We're going to call this meeting to order. Today's date is October 17th, 2022, and this is the Board of Public Works and Safety. First item is adoption of the agenda. I do not have any additions to the agenda, so I understand a motion to approve the agenda as presented. The, uh, yeah, we can. Elevator under new business, we'll just add the elevator agreements. Okay, if there are no other additions, then I'll entertain a motion to approve. Motion made by Jerry or a second? Seconded by John. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Next item is presentation of minutes for approval. Board of Director, September the 19th and your October the 3rd minutes for approval. If there are no changes or corrections to those, I entertain a motion to approve. Motion to approve. Motion made by Gerald here, second. Second. Seconded by John. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Next item is comments of citizens. Are any citizens like to make any comments? Step up to the microphone, state your name and address for the minutes, please. <coughs> Seeing none, we'll move on to department head reports. We'll start with Pat Ballmeister, Tell City Street Department. Thank you, Mayor, Board. Uh, on the trash department, in the last two weeks, the men's hauled off approximately 63.10 tons of trash. Been doing general maintenance on the trucks, oil changes, uh, cleaning them. Uh, I did get word uh, last week on our trash truck. Uh, they said that they had lost it uh, <laughs> previous week. They didn't know where it was. They found it. It was still on a lot at the, at the factory where they built it. So they got it delivered to Ruxers uh, last end of last week, and they were going to take it to Central Indiana. And supposedly the, the uh, compactor is sitting on the lot ready to go. So all they have to do is put it on there, and hopefully we'll take uh, possession of it maybe the 1st of November nothing else happens so that's kind of good news to get that going um, that's all I got on the trash department on the street department uh, we've been working on uh, finishing up mowing uh, doing some weed eating on the creek trying to get it look good for the winter street sweepers been out and patching potholes uh, boom mowers been out and boom mower worked behind the foot wall we went back there and uh, worked on it a little bit so we hope that the views for the there and do some lot like pruning call it uh nothing major back there just so people can see the river a little bit more um we uh worked on a uh a cut we had down to the pool utility cut put some gravel in it the uh, the uh, street guys did um other than that i had a gentleman come down today to the shop i had a trailer load of uh junk I wanted to throw it away and i said sir that's not until next week and he goes well can i just leave it here and i said no i said you'll have to bring it back next week I told him he could take it to Hobbesville for forty-eight dollars, but he didn't want to do that. So he's going to bring it back next week for twelve dollars. Okay. <laughs> well, we've that, got that posted out there. We'll have it. I'll talk to Dodie and see if she can't share that again on our Facebook page to help get the word out there that you've got that going on. Right. Uh, other than that, that's all we got. We're getting ready with the leapers. Well, the one truck's still not ready yet. We're still using it to haul up limbs, but our other truck's ready to go to pick up leaves. So other than that. That's all we got going on. They said we could have a uh, a uh, dusting of snow in the morning. Not oh, here. Pat, no. John 14 News said Northern counties. Oh, Northern counties. Okay. Well, they can they can keep it. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, that's all I've got. I guess we could, but that's. I hope. Uh, I guess frost. Yeah, frost. frost. Supposed to be a frost. So. All right. Any questions for Pat Board? No, sir. All right. Thank no, you, Pat. Thank you. Move on down to Greenwood Cemetery. Alvy Stiff. Nothing to report. Moving down to Chief Lenny, Tell City Fire Department. Quick and easy. Uh, we did assist at Rock Point with fire up there. Uh, we're the owner of that residence. Um, as part of our mutual aid program, we did assist counseling on that with uh, six guys in our tanker truck. Uh, once that call did go out, I needed to make contact with Hancock County as part of our plan also, and they want to stand by. <coughs> Due to the fire, so everything went pretty smooth up there, I believe. Best it could go, yes, with, given certainly. the circumstances, you know. Other than that, uh, we're gonna finish up uh, fire prevention, one more apply, one more preschool class uh, next week. So. Okay, that's it. All right, any questions for Chief? No, sir. All right, All right. Thank, thank you, you, Chief. Moving down, Parks and Rec, Brandon Long. Well, last couple of weeks, uh, Doug and I. 
Jimmy have been busy. Uh, we built a blower buggy for the front of our skag, uh, which is essentially nothing more than a, as a front end off of a zero turn blower that we salvaged. And uh, it holds a bush behind leaf blower so we can clear the walking trails uh, and new city hall leaf cleanup. Uh, you guys should patent that. Well, they already make them, they sell them for oh. $850. Well, okay, don't do that, then. If you do, don't do it under the city. Don't try to sell it, and then we'd have to defend a patent infringement. Right. Yeah. So we both went for $140, so saved quite a bit of money by doing it. I thought it was pretty creative myself. Uh, just to piggyback off of Pat, uh, he had Bird Dog and Andrew come down and help us with cleaning up Sunset Park, trimmed a lot of trees, burned a lot of trees, um, a lot of overgrown brush that's standing up blocking the river. Looks a hundred times better. Um, still a lot more I want to do down there, cleaning it up. But it's probably more of a spring and uh, summer project. Uh, today we worked on. We have a, a newer tractor that only had 500 something hours on it, and we also had a uh, older tractor that had 3,500 hours. Uh, but our newer tractor didn't have a loader. Our old tractor's two wheel drive, our new one's four wheel drive. But we didn't really have a whole lot of use for our new tractor because didn't have a loader bucket on the front. Uh, I did quite a bit of research trying to find a loader bucket with the idea that if I could sell the old tractor, I could buy a loader for our new tractor. And in doing that research, the loader was sitting in front of me the whole time. So I took it off the old tractor and put it on the new one. So we got that problem solved. Uh, we're probably going to be looking at potentially selling that old tractor. I don't know what we can get out of it. I still got to do some research on that. Um, but we won't need that tractor anymore. It's two-wheel drive, it's pretty old, none of the tires match, they're street tires. Um, I don't know what we could use it for, but another department needs one for anything. Uh, I'd be glad to give it to them. Uh, Hookwalk Court is pretty well finished, other than uh, we got to have a meeting with City Council on the first Monday, their next council meeting, to get the coatings approved, and assuming that gets approved, that'll be done sometime when the weather warms back up. Uh, other than that, we're just waiting on the uh, pickleball post to come in. It's supposed to be at the end of the month. We'll probably wait until it warms up to put them in. Uh, we probably won't waste $800 paying lines to just have lines on the court for the winter. Most people aren't gonna play in the winter time anyway. Uh, the basketball court uh, should be started the first week in November. Uh, tear out the demolition. I've got Don's machine shop working on the modifications for the backboards then we need to create the metal plate for the backboards uh, so those those should be up by the end of the week that's about it okay. Okay. is the basketball going concrete or blacktop concrete concrete yep. what six inches thick four four shouldn't be anybody driving on unless you're doing something illegal hope not <laughs> it's happening it's, yeah, they're driving down that big hill, going right next to the basketball court, doing donuts in the grass right by the parking lot. They keep uh, breaking our parking curbs, so I put a couple warnings out to the kids down there that I know. Told them to remind their friends that if stuff keeps getting torn up, that we'll put a, an ordinance in place that says that they won't be able to be there after dusk. And we don't want to do that. I want them to have somewhere to hang out. But also don't want to spend tax dollars after tax dollars fixing their fun. Well, once we get our cameras in place, that will start solving it. And right. Hopefully. Okay. Board, any questions for Brandon? No. All right. Thank you, Brandon. Thanks. Move it on down. Steve Goodson, Building and Zoning. All right. Moving down. Uh, last but not least, I guess. We've got uh, Roger Smith here, Tulsa Police Department.
she put it on the agenda, he probably should have. But while I'm explaining that the uh, high school automotive uh, uh, repair shop there, down to the commission on the police cars, uh, they approached us about taking it a step further. Uh, Glenn Goffin, who is a master mechanic, uh, holds several certifications. Uh, he does the uh, service work for the, the kids do it and has his team. And, yeah, they learn as they do it with the teachers and some of the staff there. Uh, he's wanting to offer that service to the police department for minor oil changes, brake pads, tire rotations, things of that nature. Um, there would be a small fee for it. It's kind of giving back to the school a little bit as well. Uh, it's very, very uh, well overseen program. When speaking with Lynn, I uh, understand that it's inspected three times before we leave the shop with his final inspection. So uh, the only thing we would have to consider if we just want to continue conversation and, and, and look into this is, you know, safety concerns, make sure the car sees it. There'd be no reason for, for a student to be inside of a police car. They don't drive the car, not in the passenger's car at all. So he takes care of that part. However, we still want firearms and stuff out. That would be a concern. Uh, I even made the suggestion if the board let us continue to talk to the school about this uh, future maintenance of the cars that we would have our SRO to do uh, one final inspection before it enters the shop. Uh, just to, you know, as a you know, precaution, the last thing we want to do is let again get inside that school. Or go, we want to help them. They want to help us, but we got to work together to be safe in doing it. So uh, I would just, yeah, I think she wanted me to ask the board tonight to, uh, you know, for their blessing or approval for us to continue these conversations with Glenn and get the insurance things in order and discuss it with Connie and, and the cost. And I think in the end, we're going to see some savings as well for, for these minor repairs. I'm okay with that. I think it's great that you're partnering with the school corporation. It's helping educate, you know, young teenagers how to work on cars. You know, I think it's something that's important both men and women take that class I've seen. So. I think it's a great idea. Yeah, well, I don't see any reason why we can't continue the talks. I don't think we need to have a motion for that. Do I don't, until I don't we think come you did. Back with the actual proposal. So okay. I don't see any problem. With that. I'm not. I'm not even sure that this type of maintenance would ever require uh, formal approval of the board of works. But Probably. maintenance of the vehicle has got to be done. So um, whether whether you guys approve it or not, they're going to get the oil changes. So right, yeah. um, I like the idea of having the SRO do an inspection right before it goes in. Yes. Sir. Mm -hmm. um, if he can maybe form some type of checklist just so he can show he's checked all the necessary boxes that goes in and then uh, assumption would be he'd do an inspection coming out that all the same boxes are checked. That'd be, I think that'd be as, as much diligence as we need to be worried about. Our, our planet software has a fleet management system. Uh, Lynn would have access to that so he can document the mileage spent on the car with service. We would see that, uh, you know, we would make contact. And also, he could attach the invoice for billing, for billing purposes as well. So, we just wanted to, Chief wanted me to bring that up to you all and see if uh, we should maybe just continue conversation and, and make it happen or just it was possible. And I'm, I'm glad to hear that it's a possibility that it can happen. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. All right. Any questions for Roger? No. Thank you. All right. Moving down on the agenda, uh, wastewater adjustments. Uh, I looked over them. Gary looked over them. I see no reasons not to approve. So let's go ahead and. I'll make a motion, entertain a motion to approve. Motion to approve. Motion made by Gerald. Dear second. <coughs> second. Seconded by John. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Opposed? Motion carried. There is no new business or old business, so move down to new business. Uh, board, we do have two agreements here from DC um, Elevator, uh, formerly ABLE. They're the ones who do the, do the surface agreements on the elevator here in City Hall. Um, the one for City Hall here is per month $163.74 a month. And this would be for a three year agreement. And it covers you know, complete maintenance. They'll come in, and if anybody wants to look over this, they're welcome to what it does. But, and then we have two agreements here one for City Hall, and the other for the William Tell Complex or German, the former German American. Uh, and it's actually $100 a month for a three-year agreement. Who does it now? ABLE. This is, this is ABLE. They just changed in their names. And we currently, our agreements have 
Well, obviously, we don't have one with the German American, and I think the one with tell the city hall has just expired recently. Or hasn't. So it's kind of a time to do both of them. Do you plenty of? Do you know the code on? I mean, once you're here inspection, or it has to be monthly. Monthly. Well, we're supposed to check them monthly. Uh, I learned this because I met the Indiana Fire Marshal uh, Homeland Security Elevator Inspector. That's like that long. I kid you not, the title. I met him. Nice guy, actually. I learned quite a bit about elevators, more than I ever thought I'd know, or how it's supposed to work. You're supposed to inspect them once a month to make sure there's a key in this little box and these other little things, and kind of interesting. Um, so we've been, it's been done here at City Hall, but it hasn't been done at the German American building since we've taken over it, because I don't think any of us knew that. So they will come in, they'll do all that good stuff. There's a little sheet they initial their name on and write down any problems and report that to us. And we, Connie and I met Friday with DC elevator representatives and they looked over the elevator, the uh, German American complex, and they, they said there's some things we're gonna have to do to it to, to get it past code right now. So they're supposed to get back to us on that. Nothing. Well, one over there is out of order right now. So it is out of order right now. Uh, so, so nobody's using it right now. Correct. But it's, <coughs> we're just waiting to hear back from this. They're going to, they emailed the state to ask them about an option that would save us a lot of money if we choose to do that. And then if we get past that, then uh, the elevator wise, it's not too bad. I mean, we have to change out a light bulb. It has to be like a shatter resistant type bulb or have a cover on it or an LED bulb. We've already got that done here in City Hall. That key's in there, so we're good here. I put the key in the elevator box over there now, so that's covered. We just gotta get that light changed and look. A new door, a fire. You're right. So that's something that to be done. The lights down over at the German American building is, the good thing about it, they're just plug-in LED lights. So those are the easiest thing you could change out possibly. No, no electrical skills really required. So anyways. We need $100 a month for a three-year agreement for the William Tell Complex, and then $163.74 for a three-year agreement for a city hall. Um, again, these are DC elevator. Right, will come out of the funds for that building. Mm -hmm. Correct. So, uh, Jeff, if you motion, we accept the two three-year okay. contracts to the D.C. elevator, okay. the city hall, and the old German-American building. Okay. Motion, motion made by John. Is there a second? Second. Second by Gerald. Any further discussion? Hearing none, we'll call for a vote. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. That's all we have in our new business. Uh, as far as mayor's report, I really don't have any mayor's report at this time, so I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion made by John, seconded by Gerald. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed?